I'm just a little too used of it. Overthinking, being disliked, Yuri. Although we would probably have to keep the chat under the control because spoilers everywhere. I haven't played other games at all. I know would, about that, would that mean I get to use my ban hammer? That's you would get to use your ban hammer if that was a thing we did. <laughs> what am I saying? <clears throat> I'm sorry, I didn't mean to bring that up. Let's move on. All right. What do you want to share? Do you want to share Pyro now? Okay. Here. Beach. <clears throat> Beach, a marvel millions of years in the making. Where the womb of Earth ca cataclysmically meets... That's probably not what I said. But chaotically meets the surface. Under a clean blue sky is an expanse of bliss, but beneath great rolling clouds and endless enigma the easiest world to get lost in is where everything can be found one can only build a sand castle where the sand is wet but where the sand is wet the tide comes will it gently lick at your friend and she's too given i'm not sure or will a sudden wave send you crashing down in the blink of an eye either way the outcome is the same Yet we still build sand castles. You know what? I'm. F I sometimes wonder if the reason, one of the reasons I'm streaming this, is because Cassie and Beth are both writers, and they're just like, yes, yes. No. Hey, Talon, what's up? And I am making fun of the doctor, 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 master. Yeah, I, I, know, I know, I know, Talon. Talon, if you have any objections with the steam t with the stream today, please move all complaints to the Cassie and Beth department. You're welcome. I know it's not Dragon Ball, and I know none of you take it, but you will survive it. I stand with the. F I've lost where I was on the poem now. Yes, you should. But where the sand is, the wet tire comes. Will it quickly look at your foundations to you give in, or will a sudden wave send you crashing down in the blink of an eye? Either way, the outcome is the same, if we still build sandcastles. I stand where the foam wraps around my ankles, where the toes squish into the sand. The salty air is therapeutic. The breeze is gentle yet powerful. I sink my toes into the ultimate boundary line, tempted by the foamy tendrils. Wait, what? Animu? <laughs> Turn back and I banner my piece to a road in the sh sh there there words. <laughs> That's an interesting poem. Turn back and I abandon my piece to a road in the shade. I drift forward and return to the earth forevermore. Um I'm aware that the beach is kind of an inane thing to write about, but I did my best to make a metaphorical approach to it. I've been told this is a horror game. I don't believe it still. Yeah, Natsuki already <laughs> told me about it. She, she did? She didn't say anything weird, did she? I am not a liar. She just wanted us to write about the same topic again. <clears throat> I suppose to better compare the differences in our writing styles or thought processes. So how does King Crimson work? But how- what? YouTube's being weird again. Someone get moderating that, please. Uh, anyway, it was her idea. No one here is no surprise that we want to do something like that. She probably just wants to show off. But it's not like I have a particular interest in her writing style. I just went with her request. <laughs> but, well, I suppose it's not so bad to write about something simple on occasion. It can be refreshing, you know? It's good for me to calm my thoughts once in a while. Yeah, I think I agree. Thanks for sharing. Okay, you three. We're all done sharing poems, right? Why don't we start figuring out? Hold on a second. Is it just me or did you say something strange does now? Eh? Something did sound a bit unusual. Yes. Actually. That's right. You deviated from your usual catchphrase when addressing the club. 
Catchphrase? I don't have a catchphrase. Jeez. What is this mood you're so weird today? She said three people. There's five of us, and one of us has left early. Look, even Yuri isn't immune to it. Dude. Sagnating air is common foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen. In your books, maybe? Look, the only thing different is that Sayori isn't here. Ah. It seems you're right. Sai. Sayori always <laughs> helps lighten the mood a little bit, doesn't she? Beth PM'd me and is like, please message me if trauma happens. It's almost like everyone's balance is thrown off a little when she's not around. Where the heck did she run off to anyway? I thought she just wanted to pee. Natsuki, please show some decency. Oh, come on. Ah, she actually wasn't feeling too well when went home early. Is that so? I hope she's alright. Seriously? Of all the times to not to go home with her, you pick the time she's not feeling well? So much for you two being all lovey-dovey. Ah, no! First of all, stop misunderstanding my friendship with Sayori. And second, she's kind of been avoiding me today, so I didn't want to force it. Oh? A curious expression coming from Yuri of all people. Calm down, guys. I talked to her earlier and everything's fine. What did she say? Anyway, we need to figure out the rest of the festival preparations, so let's decide what everyone will be doing this weekend. I already know what I'm doing. That's right. Natsuki will be making cupcakes. But we might need a lot of them and different flavors. Can you handle that all by yourself, Natsuki? Challenge accepted. And as Challenge for myself, accepted. I'm going to be printing and assembling all the poetry pamphlets. So Yuri will be helping me design them. And as for Yuri, Yuri, you can at um. Dottery, 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 question mark, guys. <laughs> Doctor. Can you help me come up with something for Yuri? I... I'm useless. No! That's not at all. That's not it at all. You're the most talented person here, you know. Dutteru, dutteru, dutteru. Now Natsuki's pouting too. Jeez, even I can tell now. I guess I never gave Sayori enough credit, but I, but I can tell things are even harder on you when she's not around. Ah. That may be the case. But I, if I can't want to be a leader on my own, then I won't grow as a person. So, Yuri, you have beautiful handwriting, you know? So you should make some banners and decorations to help set up the atmosphere. Atmosphere? Um, about that, I... I love atmosphere. Yuri's expression suddenly changes as she stares at her desk in focus and starts nodding to herself. Your mind is already racing, I see. I kind of gathered that, Zarin. I kind of gathered that was the foreshadowing that was happening here. That's great. You'd be a wonderful help, Yuri. But anyway, it just le that just leaves you, Bob. The one who is truly <laughs> useless. <laughs> God damn it. Ah, don't say that. In fact, both Natsuki and Yuri have some pretty heavy tasks to handle. It would probably be a long way to give one of them a hand. You could always help me out as well. You'll be really appreciative of that. Ah, that's... Is Monica suggesting I spend the weekend with one of my club members? What? <laughs> How on earth are they going to respond to a suggestion like that? Ah. I suppose I wouldn't mind a bit of help. Well, even if you don't know how to bake, there's always some dirty work I can give to you. It's dirty not like work. It's not like Monica's going to give me a choice. And you shouldn't be sitting on your butt anyway. Natsuki tries to mumble a bunch of excuses like that, followed by a few backers under her breath. Um, if I recall, Natsuki, you mentioned that you would like to handle the baking on your own. Bob may not like to be around if you only make him out to be a nuisance. So therefore... He may be more suited to assist him with the decorations. Hold on, I never said that! Oh, here comes the harmness again. How hard could it be to make a few decorations anyway? Sounds more likely just making excuses for Bob too. But what are you saying? 
It'll be extremely meticulous work. And bacon isn't. Just what do you think? Guys, guys. Let's settle down for a moment. In the end, I think it's... Oh, no. Oh, no. You can do it. In the end, it's up to both to decide how I'd like to contribute. In the end, it probably gonna matter. Besides, he hasn't really gotten the chance to spend any time with me yet, you know? I'm sure... And so I'm sure he's interested in... You literally just said I'm surprised as well. Sorry, sorry. I was just saying though. Jeez. Can we just settle this already? Yeah. Hope you're okay with this, right? In the end, it's up to you. Ah, of course. Hmm. Very well. In that case, everyone looks straight at me. Fuck. <laughs> Save. Fuck. First thing you said, I heard the only choice. Yuri. Yuri, the only choice. Well, we've figured out who Maku's wife is. <laughs> oh, she looks the cutest, though. Waifu confirmed. Derpy, Derpy Dick 16, 69 says Natsuki, best girl. A wow. name you can trust. <laughs> yeah. Yuri! <laughs> Zarin says 15 minute timeout for Happy Dick beat 69 for being wrong. Okay, SK, just pick one. This game has managed to achieve one thing, and that is like, oh god, what is going to happen to the people I don't choose? That is the one thing it has managed to achieve well, on me so I far. Well, I mean, only one of them is homesick, missing, I mean, I'm sure everything's fine. I'm gonna play the bloody character here, and the character will probably pick Natsuki. Oh, no. <laughs> I heard that gasp! <laughs> He's like my waifu! You shall perish in hell! Uh, dear. That's even, that's even worse than, than, than spamming perfect shot. That's even worse as <laughs> But childhood friend though. So childhood, childhood friend. friend. Childhood friend is worst character. She's boring. Yeah. And an idiot. Never fall in love with an idiot. It will always fuck you up in the end. Never take the Oago. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Yuri, Yuri. <laughs> I like how everyone's saying different answers. This is great. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Do it, do it, do it
I'm just saying don't pick Sayori because she's fucking boring as shit. She is basically tutorial. Yeah. <laughs> she's a basic bitch in a <coughs> funny way. I'm gonna make the otaku choice here. Come on then, Yuri. Mako wins! Fine! Victor. I'll probably be the most helpful helping out Yuri. But me? Are you serious? Why would you? That's so <gasps> I can already tell you you're about to say something mean. But no. I was just saying that so you'll be helping y Yuri then, Bob. Yeah, that's what I was going to do. You didn't pick best girl, Duffy Dick says. <laughs> Stream report! <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad. <coughs> I'm you want to ban? In these old things. So, your sisters were very useful. That's great. That's <laughs> okay, you were able to handle the bacon yourself. I mean, yeah. I already said it would be fine. Okay, okay. Everyone can tell that Natsuki is being feeling a little sour. So is that everything we need to go over? Yeah, that should be about it. Are you guys excited? Well, excited no. may not be the right word, but I suppose I'll be looking forward to it a little bit. Do you feel the same way, Bob? Me? <laughs> I guess you could say I'm interested to see how it will turn out. That's good enough for me. What about you, Natsuki? Dottori, Dottori, Dottori. Natsuki! What? Why is everyone yelling at me? I didn't even do anything. Did no. That's not what I mean at all. Ah! Yuri anxiously <laughs> glances between everyone in the room. I'm sorry for this. I don't really know why Bob picked me. And also, your cupcakes are the best cupcakes I've ever had. <laughs> they go really well with my tea. And nothing that I do for the event would compare to that, so... So... I get it, I get it. I'm kind of surprised, though. Why? Um... Well, I'm the one acting immature. I already know that. But you're trying to cheer me up a lot all of a sudden. I oh, know, not very good at it. I'm sorry if I said something bad. Natsuki isn't the only one surprised. Oh my god, wrap this day up, I need to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Monica and I are the only also taken aback by Yuri's words. You're the worst anime character ever. It's because I don't care. <laughs> If you're f Oh god, what is that character's name? Fuck. I can't remember his proper name, but right now I'm playing this like the bloody lazy genius guy from Naruto. I forgot his goddamn name. Uh oh. I, uh, I forgot as well, I don't know. You do you know you know who I mean though, right? Yeah, I know what you mean. When she really has trouble with words, trying to cheer someone up must be far from her own comfort zone. The guy with the shadows. Yuri was trying to sound like Sayori. Also, anyone who watches the VOD for this is gonna be like, oh my god, SK's a dick, or they're gonna be like, oh my god, SK's sundary as fuck, it's adorable. Yeah. Yuri was trying to sound like Sayori. Yeah, Even it didn't work perfectly, I could tell that she tried to say something Sayori would say and sound like this. I guess I always helped everyone smile and feel good about themselves. But no! I can't appreciate it. I'm sorry for making a big deal out of nothing, but I'm going to say this. You better bet my cup you better bet my cupcakes are going to be the best part of the whole event. Ah. Uh, I believe you. Yeah. I hope to see everyone do their best. But with that, there's nothing more for today. So I guess it's time for us to head out. Alright, let's get out of here then. Everyone packs up their things. I start to follow Mako and Natsuki out the door as they chat between each other. My IQ is too high to watch shows the Simple Twins enjoy. I only watch Rick and Morty. <laughs> Amazing. But, um, yeah. I turn around. Sorry, I realise that I don't have any way of contacting you this weekend. Oh, you're right. I can't believe that slipped my mind. I should give you my phone number. 
I think that would be the best Ooh. way, yes. Alright then. You got it, yes. You and I exchange phone numbers. Okay. Then I'll be stopping by your house on Sunday, eh? My house? Is that a problem? No, no, not at all. I just thought it would... That's... Bleh. I just thought that I would be the one going to your house since I'm the one helping you. Ah, I suppose that makes sense. But if you don't mind, I think I would prefer going to your house. Alright. In that case, wow, it wow, be wow. a problem. <laughs> yep. I decided not to press Yuri for a reason. It's not like it should matter, but either way, so I'll just... It's... Bleh. It's not like it should matter much either way, so I just need to make sure my room is clean. I hope you managed to make my, myself useful in some way. I'm not nearly as creative as you are. I don't un don't underestimate yourself, Bob. I think you we make a very productive team. Even if you only choose me because you felt bad or something. Wait! You don't actually think that, do you? Dotteroo, Dotteroo, Dotteroo. I don't know. It's difficult to come up with any other reason that you may have chosen me. You're forgetting the one reason with the most... You're forgetting the one reason with the most common sense. I chose to help you because that's what I want to do. But, but... Uh, and I made you. <laughs> Yuri thinks to herself with an extremely tense expression. Yuri, you're overthinking this. You wanted me to point out when you're overthinking, right? Yeah? I, I didn't realise. I'm telling you, I want to. That's all there is to it. You, you do, you, do you believe me? I... Yuri thinks that's a really hard... Yuri thinks really hard again. She looks straight at me f into my eyes for a long while. I believe you. As if it took her a tremendous effort, Yuri finally says that and f relaxes her expression. And I'm really looking forward to Sunday. Yeah, I am too. After that exchange, I make my way out of the door and Yuri follows. I can't believe this. Yuri's going to be coming to my house on Sunday. My anxiety shoots through the roofs. Even though i am gotten pretty used to handling her... What? <laughs> Wording again. Even though I've gotten pretty used yeah. to handling her at this point, there's no telling what might end up happening when we're outside the school. More than that, she told me that she was looking forward to it. Is this the chance I have to make something happen between us? Or is it too early for that? Only time will tell. But until then, I won't be able to make... Take... <coughs> But until then, I won't be able to take my mind off it. I seriously can't wait. And save. And now bed. I was about to say that. You guys are screwed. <laughs> you guys are screwed with me today. I'm gonna screw you now. Because all the weird shit's supposed to happen now, apparently, and we're ending <laughs> here. <laughs> The twist is. The twist is. The twist. the twist is you don't get to see anything today. <laughs> the twist is that you better finish it tomorrow or me and Beth are gonna fucking raise hell. No more. Tomorrow is training day. You're one day away from it, mate. You told me that two days ago on this game, Zaron. <laughs> God damn. How many days are there left? There's a lot of days, okay? Like seven a week. <laughs> Jeez, leave me alone. Such pain, nah. <laughs> anyway. Skip unseen text? What? Skip unseen text. That sounds like missing most of the story. <laughs> That's that. My stream is probably gonna hate me for doing this again tomorrow, but hey. We'll, we'll see what happens. What do you mean, gotta go fast? Uh, you have good news? 
What is this good news? Because since the first day of playing this, I seem to have my right ear seems to have got clogged up. I'm going to blame this g on this game because this game is supposedly haunted, even though they've yet to have proven this. Also, hold on. Hold the fucking phone. Two of these characters have basically the same expression. They're the same person with a twist. Da -da -da! I uh, how should what should I, what should I even do with videos for this game? Should I just like upload it on on YouTube? Like there, it's done. Watch it. What whatever. D do the thing. Do it. New game. Yeah. How about no? Do all that again. Ugh. <sighs> Hint, you can use the skip button to fast forward through text you've already read. Upload it and make suggestive title cards. There is suggestive art for this game? It's already Saturday! I've been getting increasingly anxious about Yuri's upcoming visit. Let's not do voices, shall we? I keep telling myself that there's no reason to be nervous, but it doesn't help much. Hey, I'm back. Oh, hey, Maku. It begins. Uh, it begins. No. Yuri is clearly an introvert and also an intimate person in general. Oh, my. Oh, my. Uh, Yuri was a good... Uh... A good choice, Mo anyway. Monday, Monday is where shit happens. You took, bro, bro. On the second day, you told me there was one more day to go. On the third day, no, you told me there was one more day to go. On the fourth day, you told me there was one more day to go. Now we're on the Saturday, and now you're telling me it's on a Monday. Is this a Christmas song? On the first day, you told <laughs> me this game is gonna be creepy. Note to self, take no advice <laughs> from Zarin. Fight <laughs> <laughs> The Twitch chat right now. Fight us, whole ass son! The race ain't gonna win itself. <laughs> There's no doubt that she'll open up a little bit when it's just the two of us. Meanwhile, we've even been texting occasionally. She was extremely apprehensive at first, but it wasn't long before I was already learning more about her. But putting Yuri aside... Wait, what? Why? <laughs> oh my god, the chat. I haven't heard a thing from Sayuri since she left cl club... Blah, blah, blah. Since she left club early the other day. It's not like we text each other over... Look, isn't I, why can't I read today? What the hell? It's not like we text each other all the time or anything. But I've been worried about her in the back of my mind. The only thing close to a visual novel I've ever legitly played is Phoenix Wright. That's it, and it, that has more choices <laughs> <laughs> between what Sayori said and what Monica said. Is it really okay for me to put Sayori's feelings aside when she might need me? Now go steal Maku's waifu. You will never touch my waifu. I decide to visit Sayori before Yuri comes over. Rather than asking, I simply tell her I'm coming over, much like we've done in the past. Once I reach Sayori's house, I knock on the door before entering it myself. Again, we used to play so often that we made it a habit of simply entering each other's houses like we're family. The house is quiet. Sayori isn't anywhere on the first floor, so I assume she's up in her room. It's already strange of her not to run down and greet me. I head up to her bedroom where I finally find her. Sayori? Hi, Bob. I sit down in her room. Sayori forces <laughs> a smile, but it's easy to tell that she's different. 
There's a minute of silence between us. You haven't come over like this in a long time, have you? Ah, I guess you're right. It has been a long time. Not much has really changed, has it? Sayori's room is as messy as it's always been. I also recognise the same stuffed animals and wall decoration that she's had for years now. Yeah. If you came over more often, I wouldn't be such a mess. That's because I end up cleaning it for you. Oh! How come you suddenly wanted to come over today? Aren't you supposed to see Yuri today? Yeah, but... <coughs> Wait, how did you know that? Sayori has already left by the time we decided that last meeting. Monica told me. It's only natural for her to keep me informed about the festival preparations, right? Ah, that's true. But what about you? Aren't you going to be helping Monica today? Of course! But I'm just helping her online. We didn't plan to meet up or anything. Ah, so it's just me and Yuri then. Yep. There's more silence between us. So Yuri stares in a random direction. Everything about her behaviour is really uncharacteristic. I finally get to the point. I just wanted to see how you were doing. After you left on Friday. God damn it, chat. <laughs> When something's wrong, you can't hide it from me. I know you too well. So, Dotteru, Dotteru, Dotteru. Sayori smiles, shaking her head. That's no good, Bob. Eh? Why can't it just be like it's always been? This is all my fault. If I didn't get so weak and accidentally express my feelings. If I didn't make that stupid mistake. Then you wouldn't have been worried about me at all. You wouldn't have come here. You wouldn't have even been thinking about me right now. But this is my punishment, isn't it? I'm getting punished for being so selfish. I think that's why the world decided to have you come over today. It just wants to torture me. <laughs> Sayori! I grabbed Sayori by the shoulders. And then they make the sex! No. What on earth are you saying? Are you listening to yourself right now? I know something's happened to you. There's no other explanation for you to be like this. So tell me already. Until I know, I won't be able to stop thinking about it. Ah. <laughs> Sayori gives an empty smile. You really put me in a trap, Bob. But, Dotteru, 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 you're wrong. Nothing happened to me. I've always been like this. You've just seen it for the first time. Seen what? What are you talking about, Sayori? <laughs> you're really just going to make me say it, aren't you, Bob? I guess I have no choice this time. The thing is... Dotteru, 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 dramatic pause. I've had really bad depression my whole life. Did you know that? Why do you think I'm late to school every day? Because most days I can't even find a reason to get out of bed. What reason is there to do anything when I fully know how worthless I am? Oh lord. I know more than a few people have had conversations like this with me. Why go to school? Why eat? Why make friends? Why make other people put their energy and care into waste by having them spend it on me? That's what it feels like. And that's why I just want to make everyone happy. Without anyone one there. Without anyone worrying about me. Dotteru, Dotteru, Dotteru. <laughs> I'm in shock. I can't even figure out how to respond. How is it possible that Sayori kept this from me the entire time that I've known her? Did she really want... Did she really want so badly for me to just not think about her? Why, Sayori? 
Eh? Why is it that you've never told me about this? It almost feels like I've been portrayed as your close friend. Because if I knew, I would have done everything I could to support you. Even if there's only so much that I could do. I would have tried a little bit harder to make every day a little bit better for you. <laughs> That's why I'm your friend! All you had to do was tell me. You don't understand at all, Bob. Why do you think I didn't tell you? Because if I told you, then you would have to waste effort caring about me instead of doing important things. I don't want to be cared about. It's bittersweet when people try to care about me. It feels nice sometimes, but it also feels like a bat being swung against my head. Ah ha ha ha. That's why I wanted so badly for you to make friends with everyone else. Helping everyone be happy together is the best thing for me. How are we going to go from this to horror? Oh my god. This is going to be one hell of a <laughs> switch. But then I discovered something else too. Seeing you make friends and get closer with everyone in the club. It feels like a spear going through my heart. So that's why. That's why I decided the world just needs, just wants to touch me. <laughs> Every path leads to nothing but hurt. <laughs> You're right that I don't understand. I don't understand your feelings at all, Sayori. But I don't need to understand. Whatever it takes for me to help you stop hurting. That's what I'll do. No, Bob. There's nothing. Cassie is like, oh, this is so cute, reading out the dialogues and... Bleh. Bleh. There's nothing, nothing at all. The only thing I could... The only thing that could have helped is if everything could be like it always was. But I was selfish. I finally showed you what a horrible person I am. Tears streaked down Sayori's face. I made you join the literature club because I was selfish and I was punished by my heart hurting in a way that I couldn't understand and now you came here and I made you hurt too I'm just weak and selfish that's all I am and that's why I'm going to accept these punishments because I deserve every last one Without thinking, I once again grab Sayori's shoulders. This time, I pull her into a tight embrace. Uh uh. Bob, Dotteru, Dotteru, Dotteru. Sayori! Oh, there's no Dotteru's that time. I don't care if you feel selfish. I'm really happy that you've convinced me to join the club. Seeing you every day makes it worthwhile enough. If I make friends with everyone else, then that's just a bonus. But please, never underestimate how much I care about you. I wouldn't have it any other way. Bob, Dutteru, Dutteru, Dutteru. Sayori isn't hugging me back. Despite my arms being wrapped around her, Sayori's arms remain at her sides. She starts sobbing next to my ear. No, Dutteru, Dutteru, Dutteru. <laughs> Don't do this, Dotteru, 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 to me, Dotteru, Dotteru, Dotteru. Please don't do this, Dotteru, Dotteru, <laughs> Bob, Dotteru, Dotteru, Dotteru. I, Dotteru, Dotteru, Dotteru. Jump scare! Sayori Berry manages to speak between her sobs. Nope. I think this is one of the few times the game's gone pitch black. I, I have no clue what could happen. I don't know if I'm doing the right thing, but all I want is for her to know that I care. If you have if you have it in you to call yourself selfish, then you have to let me be selfish too. No matter what it takes, I'll figure out what needs to change. I'll make these feelings go away. And if there's anything that you need me to do, then you better tell me. I'll get mad if you don't. Dutteru, dutteru, dutteru. 
I don't know, 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 I don't know. Gently Sayori finally puts her arm around me in return. I don't know anything. It's all really scary. Dutteru, dutteru, dutteru. I don't understand any of my feelings, Bob. Dutteru, dutteru, dutteru. The only time I'm not feeling nothing is when I'm feeling pain. Break out the Lincoln Park, yo. But, Dotteru, Dotteru, Dotteru. Your hugs are warm, Dotteru, Dotteru, Dotteru. <laughs> that's not even funny anymore. I'm kind of bored of doing that now. And that's really scary, too. Sayori lets me go. As she does so, I let her go as well. The festival is tomorrow. Yeah, Dotteru, Dotteru, Dotteru. <laughs> It's going to be fun, right? Yeah. How would you like for me to spend it all with you? Uh, um, Dutteru, Dutteru, Dutteru. Uh, it's what I want. I promise. I, Dutteru, Dutteru, Dutteru. I think that would be nice then. Dutteru, Dutteru, Dutteru. Yeah. Sayori wipes her eyes. If I could spend the whole day here, I would. Of all days, this has to be the one where I have other plans. Dutteru, dutteru, dutteru. Maybe I should cancel. No, don't! Please don't, dutteru, dutteru, dutteru. If you did that, then I really wouldn't forgive you. But, dutteru, dutteru, dutteru. It's almost time for you to meet me at my house, dutteru, dutteru, dutteru. If you don't like the dutteru, then stop it. Yep, kind of, kind of bored of it now. I might just throw it in randomly to remind people. At the very least, do you want me to... Blah. At the very least, do you want to come along and help out? It would be fun. To my surprise, Sayori shakes her head. I'm sorry. I don't know if that would be very good for me today. You understand, right? Ah. It's kind of hard for me to fully understand. But I'm trying my hardest. It's okay. Don't worry too much about it. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Alright. I look forward to it. I say goodbye to Sayori and exit her house. On the way home, I find myself feeling uneasy. But it's hard for me to keep thinking about it when Yuri's about to come over too. Dutteru, dutteru, dutteru. I think Sayori is right. I shouldn't be worrying too much, and we're defend uh, and we're definitely going to have a great time tomorrow. I should just focus on what's ahead of me. As I approach my house, I see something that makes me feel a moment of panic. Yuri? Ah! Thank goodness. You're a little early. I'm sorry, I wasn't home yet. Were you waiting for a long time? No, I just got here. But I started to get really nervous when nobody answered the doorbell. Dutteru, dutteru, dutteru. You always could have texted me. If I had known, I would have reassured you and hurried more on my way home. Ah, I suppose that's true. I don't think of that for some reason. I didn't think of that for some reason. It should be common sense to do that, but I decided to ignore it. Anyway, let's go inside. I see you brought a lot of stuff with you. That's right. And did you manage to find everything I asked you to buy as well? Yeah, pretty much. At least I hope you got everything right. I'm sure it will be fine. I take Yuri to my room. The first thing she does is glance around curiously, which makes me feel anxious. It's so clean. <laughs> I cleaned it before you came over, so... That's very considerate of you to do. Ah, no. I would be really embarrassed for my room to be a mess while you were here. 
<laughs> It'll be worth it. Let's go. Okay, keep going. Okay. Okay. I, I see I see all the people in the chat who are just like kind of waiting like I don't think I don't see you I see all of you fools anyway I'll be really embarrassed for my room to be a mess while you were here hmm well I do enjoy cleaning I would have gladly helped you clean. Uh, also, more animal tropes there. That would be even more embarrassing. Oh, yeah, I'm back. Wait, don't look in there. Oh, hey, Maku. I snatched Yuri's wrist, which was in the process of opening a desk drawer of mine. Uh, ah! I'm sorry. I wasn't thinking for some reason. I was just spacing out. It's fine, it's fine. I let go of Yuri's wrist. Not the pawn, woman! JK. She puts <laughs> both of her hands firmly in her lap, as if making sure she's keeping track of them. So, um... <clears throat> should we get started? Ah. Yes. Um, I have a f few things planned that you can help with. Decorations and other atmospheric enhancements. And how to dodge. It's always about dodging with you people. I'm sorry. <laughs> atmospheric enhancements? What? This choice of language. You know. Dutcheroo, Dutcheroo, Dutcheroo. Mood lighting, aromatherapy candles. B but but why though? It's romantic, dude. But that's not the thing with anime. Damn it. Anyway, oh well. I didn't know you planned on taking it that far. Of course. I went to help take our guests to a faraway place, although many were stopped by just out of curiosity. And for cupcakes, I guess. I'm determined to provide an experience that will leave them wanting more. That's great! It's easy to forget that you're a pretty intense person. Ah. Intense? I guess that's the best way to put it. Is that a bad thing? No, not at all. It's something that I like about you, actually. Is that so? That makes me feel relieved. I keep pressing the bottom bit by accident. And kind of happy. Yeah, no need to be so anxious. You can relate a little. Oh, relax a little. Derp. 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 <laughs> relax. Dutteroo, dutteroo, dutteroo. I brought some things for relaxation. Bro, we are gonna get high, and then that's when we're gonna see the trippy shit, and then that's when everything's gonna go weird. I'm calling it now. I'm calling it now. For 24 life. Aromatherapy is the devil. Sorry. Being daft. Moving on. I was going to use them during the poetry event. Oh, yeah? Like what? Let's see. Dutteroo, Dutteroo, Dutteroo. Yuri rummages through a bag. She pulls out a few candles on a wooden cylinder shaped object. See? We're into the drop. No. <laughs> I did some sh shopping on the way here, so I, I happen to have these in my bag. I plan to cover the windows in black paper and use the candles to light the room. I think that would be amazing, don't you? Yeah, that would be really neat. And the fire hazard. <laughs> What's that wooden thing, though? Oh, this? It's a diffuser for essential. It's a diffuser for essential oils. How familiar are you with aromatherapy? Not familiar at all. Ah, is that so? It's one of my favourite contributions to a positive atmosphere. Depending on the oils and herbs you choose, you can change the mood of the air itself. Or get high. Anyway, you can even feel it permeate through your body. Relaxation, positive energy, romance, reflection. It's almost like magic. 
Yuri takes the cylinder and pushes the switch on the bottom. In just a moment, a thin ray of vapor begins to spout through the small hole in, at, on the top. Wow, that smells wonderful. What kind of mood is that one for? <laughs> the hell, Maku? What? <laughs> it's came. Real life is very knowledgeable about those things, though. Strongly disagree. What kind of mood is that one there for? This is Jasmine's... This is Jasmine Essential Oil. It smells a little sweet and flowery, right? Yeah, that's a good way to describe it. I chose Jasmine for the event because it provides more than relaxation. Jasmine enhances your emotions and helps you f feel them flow fl 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 through your body. You feel warmer and your heart pounds more heavily. Don't you think that would be perfect for sharing our poems? Oh yeah, because Maku's in... Yeah, Maku's in a weird situation where he's like in the actual Discord and he's hearing yeah, it before it shows up on the screen. It's really strange. It does sound suitable. But you seem to know a lot about this, so I'll trust your opinion with everything. Yuri smiles gently, clearly enjoying herself. She again reaches into her bag and pulls out several spools of thin ribbon. What are those for? Well... Did you purchase the origami paper I asked you to get? Yeah, I have it over here. We won't be using the paper for folding origami. What I'd like to do is write a different word on each paper. We'll need about a hundred of them. What? Oh yeah. What will those be used for? Well, I'm going to cut pieces of ribbon to hang from the doorway of the classroom. Then we can fasten the paper onto the ribbons to create a doorway curtain. Wouldn't that be beautiful? I would also catch it would also catch the eye of those passing by the room. It may attract some to peek inside. That's really creative. I had no idea you'd be so good at this, Yuri. Is that so? Well I suppose I do get a mere well I suppose I do get a little intense, as you put it. Ooh. Yuri giggles with red cheeks. Is it just me, or is she more relaxed when she, it's just the two of us? Or maybe it's the excitement she feels from sharing something that she enjoys. Here's a marker, Bob. You can write any characters you want. I'll help you once I finish cutting the ribbons. Ah, alright. Sitting on the floor together, the two of us get to work. I carefully draw a different character on each paper, doing my best to manage my bad, hair, my bad hand writing. Yuri unravels a long strand of red ribbon to her desired length. Then she reaches into her bag once more and pulls out a pocket knife. Eh? The knife is strangely beautiful. She's part of red ribbon army. <laughs> the silver handle has an intricate pattern of waves etched into it. The blade itself is gently tinted blue. That's no ordinary pocket knife. It looks really fancy. Ah, uh -uh. well, embarrassed Yuri looks away. What is it? You're going to think it's weird. She is part of no. <laughs> Yuri, whatever it is, I have no reason to judge. To each their own, you know. If you promise you won't be weirded out. Yeah, I promise. All right. The thing is, I'm kind of into knives. Uh oh. This 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 could go this could go down this this could go down a bad direction. They're just so pretty. I can't help it. Oh my god, my brain is suddenly having over nine thousand possible different outcomes right now of like this was why you wanted me to pick Yuri! <laughs> I've been set up! I've been duped! I don't know what it is. The combination of craftsmanship and feeling the danger, maybe.
Ooh, what, what am I saying? Please don't think I'm weird for this. <laughs> You're laughing at me. No, I'm not laughing at you. It's just funny how nervous you get about sharing. It's, well, it's an interesting thing to be into, I guess. But I think it kind of suits you. Suits me? Yeah, it's kind of intense. <laughs> Besides, it's a really cool looking knife. I can't deny that. It is, isn't it? Yuri relaxes her expression once again. Would you like to hold it? <laughs> Let's take that sentence over 9,000 different ways to break in the context. Anyway. Well, at least Bob isn't saying it. <laughs> sure, I'll check it out. Yuri carefully hands me the knife with the handle facing me. I take it and turn it around in my hands. It feels heavy and extremely solid. Where do you even get a knife like this? Curious of its sharpness, I f feel the point of the knife with my index finger. Ow! Bob! Why did you do that? I didn't expect it to be that sharp. I barely touched it at all. It's, it's my fault. I should have warned you. This knife is extremely sharp. It can cut through skin like it's paper. Oh no. A small drop of blood trickles down the side of my finger. And then he died. The end. Dun dun dun. Bad end! <laughs> Yuri takes my hand and gives the wound a closer look. Oh no! I swear to god if you do that... If, if you do that anime trope. Oh, yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, if you do, I swear so to god stupid. if you do that anime trope. That's so stupid. Ah, Dotaru, Dotaru, Dotaru. She stares at it and noticeably fidgets. It's gonna happen. I'm calling it now. If you're squeamish, I'll go wash it off now. Uh, ah! Without warning, Yuri puts my fit. I knew it! Ah, uh, goddammit. Cool that shit! Why did you even do that? Without warning, Yuri puts my finger in her mouth and licks the wound. I caught that shit so Ooh, hard. Wow. I feel her tongue curl around my finger. Oh dear. Oh dear, it begins. Everything's been <clears throat> leading up to today, I suppose. Startled, I instinctively pull my hand back. Uh, oh. It's not that I think it was weird so much, Zarin, although it kind of is, because Anamu. It's more the fact that it's pretty much a trope. It's like, I could see it coming a mile off. But please forgive me. I wasn't thinking. I... Yuri lowers her head, her face burning up. Yuri, Dutteru, Dutteru, Dutteru. <coughs> That's the most embarrassing thing I've ever done. How could I do something like that? I'm so s I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Ah. Uh, sure, it was a little weird, but it took me by surprise. And it took me by surprise. But I guess she was just trying to help, right? <clears throat> Yuri, I think you're overreacting a little. Uh, she doesn't lift her head. What if she doesn't recover from this for the rest of the afternoon? Alright, you know what? This might be a stupid thing to do, but I'd do it anyway. Oh god, no. No. Uh... I take Yuri's hand and lick the, her index finger in the turn. Yeah. T -t 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 Today's the day. Everything's been building up to this. Bob! Did you really just do that? But now we're even. Dutteru, Dutteru, Dutteru. Yuri just looks at me like I did something wrong. Cassie is into blood? Okay. Yes, she is. Okay. That, that's, I, I, will, I, will, I will remember this in future. So I, I will keep any sharp objects safely f far away. Anyway. <laughs> uh, I knew that would be a bad idea. If not for the sweet aroma of, jas of the jasmine oil, the air would be extremely heavy right now. 
You're so weird, Bob. Yuri giggles shyly. Eh? Yuri calling me weird? I have no response to that. Where do you keep your bandages? Uh... I don't think I need one, actually. It was a tiny cut. Look, it's already stopped bleeding. It's I just see. a flesh wound. That's relieving. The tension is quite quickly lifted. We each resume our respective activities. I watch Yuri's knife cut through the ribbon like it's nothing but air. Meanwhile, I continue to make progress on the paper. After we finish attaching the paper to the ribbons, we lay them all out side by side. It looks better than I expected and will be very effective as a door curtain. It looks great. Good thinking coming up with this, Yuri. Ah, thanks. It's just something I saw online, really. Are you ready to move on to the next task? Yeah, let's do it. What do you have in mind? I'd like to create a banner. That's why I asked you to buy the paintables. Wait, the paint tablets, derp. The paintables? <laughs> ah, that's right. One it's, of the items you asked me to buy was a kit of watercolor paint ta ta tablets. Blah. Blah, 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 blah. Tablets. Learn English, time. motherfucker. It's water time. We'll need about six cups of water to put each of the tablets in. If I wasn't such a lightweight, I should probably do one of these with like beer nearby or something. I don't know. Although that could go terribly wrong. I could just end oh, up yeah. like half drunk asleep or something. Just be like, you're a slut. <laughs> go, go away. Go. Anyway. It's more fun if you're lightweight though. We'll need about six cups of water to put each of the tablets in. Do you mind fetching those for us? No, Zarin, I'm not making this a thing. This is not about to become a thing. No. Of course not. Six cups of water. I'll be back in a minute. Thank you very much. Oh, and just a little bit of water is okay. If you fill the cups too much, it will be too diluted. Taking Yuri's advice, I decided to use small plastic bathroom cups rather than full-size glasses. I put them on a plate to catch any paint that drips, then bring it back into my room. Yuri. Yuri? <laughs> yes? I come in to see Yuri quickly unrolling her sleeve, pulling it back over her arm. Ah, nothing. Your face is a little red. Is it too hot in here or anything? Uh, no, not at all. Chat is actually saying they will pay money to make this a thing. My face when. Yeah, if you do it drunk. I don't know if they're talking about the drunk thing or the visual novel reading <laughs> in general. Let's mix the paint. Yuri hurriedly dismisses me and takes it upon herself to unwrap the tablets, dropping them in the cups. So, Dotteru, 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 I thought we'd do something simple that would look very nice. I'd like to paint a gradient across the banner. Starting with the colours for a sunrise, then daytime, then sunset, and nighttime. Once it dries, I'll write an inspirational quote across the banner. We can hang it on the wall behind the podium at the front of a classroom. And then we can paint a, key, a kitty hanging off a washing line with the words, HANG IN THERE! Ah, neat. What are you going to write? Well... It will be more fun to surprise you. Yuri smiles at me. If you say so. After rolling out the banner, Yuri and I kneel on opposite sides so we don't get in the way of each other. Yuri uses the brush and adds a few dots of different colours across the banner to serve as a colour guide when we paint. This kind of reminds me of elementary school. Painting on a banner with watercolours feels a lot like the art class projects we had back then. It's relaxing. Ah, Dotteru, Dotteru, Dotteru. 
I'm sorry if this feels too childish. No, I didn't mean that at all. It's kind of fun, you know? Yeah. It is fun. I'm glad you feel that way too. Yuri stops painting for a moment, thinking to herself. For me, dutteru dutteru dutteru. <laughs> I don't need to go out and do crazy things to have fun. In fact, I usually don't even want to. I just l like when I can spend some time with one other person. Dutteru dutteru dutteru. Even if it's something simple like reading, it doesn't even matter if we don't talk much. Just having a friend next to me makes things a little bit nicer. I think that's all it takes for me to be happy. Is that so? Even if Yuri and I are quite different, I can understand where she's coming from. I feel that way about things like anime and games, where simply sharing the experience with someone can make me happy. I'm streaming right now! This, this applies to me at least a tiny bit. I f think I feel the same way. Yuri smiles gently. I knew you'd understand. Yuri leans over to the banner to grab an unused paintbrush. But I move at the same time, causing my head to bump into hers. Kia! Sorry! Yuri reels back and I quickly lift my hands in surprise. Are you hurt? But no, I'm not hurt. It just startled me, that's all. But sorry, I should have asked you to get it for me. It's not your fault. Ah, your face. There are droplets of paint on Yuri's face and neck. P can we please actually wash these off in a normal way this time, not the, um, the, the, the other way? Is there something on my face? Yeah, I accidentally got paint on you. Sorry, it's totally my fault. I'll get a towel right away. I rush out and fetch a small towel, then I dampen it with hot water. I return to my room and kneel back down in front of her. <laughs> it's new art! Here, Dutteru, Dutteru, Dutteru. I pat down Yuri's face and neck with a towel. Uh... Oh, no, now we're gonna do that. Wait, why are the eyes red? Why are the eyes red? Blaster! She's going berserk. Hold on just a moment. James! If you want to know what's going on, get on Twitch right now. They will explain everything. They will explain everything that's going on. In fact, give me just a second. That should come through in just a minute. Oh, to explain to people on Twitch, friend of mine saw what I was doing on YouTube and I'm just like, come on Twitch right now, everything will make sense. Is something wrong? It's hot, I just didn't expect it. Hi Confused, I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? It's hot, I just didn't expect it. Sorry, Dotteru, Dotteru, Dotteru. I didn't want to use cold water. Blaster, if you're on Twitch right now, say hi to the people. They can explain everything to you. Also blame Cassie. This is her fault. Having finished, I start to retract my hand. But Yuri suddenly holds my wrist. There's gonna be, there's gonna be more weirdness, isn't there? Wait. Eh? Just for a little longer. Sadly, I can't say hi or to Twitch because he wants me to fucking log in, so I would have to say hi. Read now. the, um, just read what they say on Twitch then. Alright. Uh, <laughs> that's no idea. 
Ah, uh, Dotaru, Dotaru, Dotaru. I keep my hand still using Yuri's neck. Still, wait, I keep using my hand. I keep use my hand still against Yuri's neck. God damn it. She looks into my eyes and then she takes my soul. <coughs> it's an intense expression that I recognize from when she reads her books. Almost as if she's lost in a daze, enveloped by her own thoughts. She breathes gently, half through slightly parted lips. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> is it the aroma of the jasmine oil giving me this dizzy feeling? Shit's gonna go down. Shit's gonna go down. Abort! Abort! <laughs> Yuri's gentle fingers wrapped around my wrist, sending a tingling <laughs> sensation through my arm. And suddenly, her face seems to be much closer to mine than it was just a moment ago. Ah, Dotaru, Dotaru, Dotaru. Yuri slowly pulls away. Sorry, Dotaru, Dotaru, Dotaru. Chat keeps mentioning Katawa Shoujo. I did actually consider a long time ago playing that, and I was like, actually, no, I don't want feels, because that might actually give me feels. You better hope this doesn't have any porno stuff in it, or why you're going to get banned off of it. <laughs> Loads of people are streaming this, apparently, so. There's I'll be feeling a little people light in it today. I didn't mean to space out. It's it's fine. The moment is <clears throat> the moment is over as soon as it began. Yuri picks up her brush again, but her movement seems clumsier, like she's unable to focus. I remain silent, forced to ignore the event that just transpired. I hesitantly retrieve my own brush and continue following. Uh, excuse me. <clears throat> I hesitantly retrieve my own brush and continue following Yuri's example. That should do it. I finish filing the night. I finish filling the night sky with white dots that look like stars. Looking at the banner as a whole, it's very pretty and natural looking. I think it came out better than I expected. I'm really happy with the results. Yeah, me too. Also, since chat apparently approves of feels, shameless plug, shameless plug, shameless plug, you should go watch me play in Brothers of Tale of the Two Sons when the stream's done today. Oh, snap. So, yeah. That's on the YouTubes. Are you going to add the letter in now? Ah, not yet. It needs to dry first. That's true, but won't take it. <laughs> that take a little while. 